to be careful with this one because um, the, the biggest problem, unfortunately, people often jump to the conclusion, oh, you think it's in my head. And so this story tends to, we typically tell this story a little bit later. Once we've created a relationship, the person knows we're there. But the brain meeting story is pretty simple. It's, um, you know, when patients come in and I ask them, what's the biggest thing that bothers you? You know, since they develop pain, I forget things. They, they forget. Or they have the fog. They, they cannot focus. They get, their brain gets tired. So we just tell them that, you know, um, when you close your eyes and you think about your grandma, your whole brain gets busy. There's not just one granny area. You, you can remember grandma. You can see her. You can smell her. You, you have feelings for her. So your whole brain talks to each other. If I can reach in your head, that's a meeting. There's a meeting. Your brain is a meeting. And then today they're meeting about grandma. Well, pain's the same thing. If I punch you in the arm, multiple areas will meet. And when an area of your body is in a pain meeting, then its original job cannot be done well. So if I ask you to raise your arm, you raise your arm. But if the movement department is today in the pain meeting, then what suffers? Movement. So now you move your arm funny because is there something wrong with you? Nope. Are you trying to be lazy? No. Are you a bad patient? No. It just means the part of your brain that deals with movement is in a pain meeting today. Um, the memory department does it, so we forget things a little bit more. Uh, the focus department's there, so we cannot. We get a little bit tired. Is there something wrong with your brain? No. Nope. Your brain's just busy with pain, so I'm going to teach you about pain. And when you learn about pain, the brain's going to go, I got it. I got the funny accent explain it. You guys can go back to your normal job. And now your arm raises again, so it, it gets a little bit worse, but it doesn't mean there's something wrong. Your brain's just busy. And that's normal. It happens in all of us. But we just now need to teach you about pain so your brain can go back to what it's typically doing. That, that's really what it is. Um, yeah. Anyway, awesome. I get, it sounds silly, but it works. 